a bit strange. And that's why Alizondo is questioned by some. He builds you up to the point where he's just getting ready to say something and then says, sorry, I can't go anymore because of the oath I took to the U.S. government. So he gets you on the edge of the seat, of your seat. So he's ready to talk to you. And then he weighs the stars and stripes and says, sorry, my country says I can't talk about this anymore. Next. That's my biggest criticism of Luis Elizondo. My criticism is not that he tends to pontificate, not that he tends to sensationalize, not that he attends to turn what he says into a Hollywood event. Because again, if you want to get an audience, you've got to be entertaining. Tom DeLong knows that, okay? But then when you go into telling people something where you know you can't finish it, because let's say, let's just say he's right. He invokes his security oath and he really can't say this or he'll go to jail. Then why even bring it up to begin with? It's like so many of the things you see on the History Channel or the Travel Channel or Animal Planet or whatever. Just before the the lion eats the man or the ghost comes out of the closet or the Bigfoot comes out of the woods, just before that, they go to a commercial, then they come back and, oh, yeah, it's really, it's it's nothing. It was was your buddy making sounds or it was, we don't know what it was or the bear doesn't eat the man. I mean, it's uneventful you build it up you build it up you build it up then you stop that's my biggest criticism with Luis Elizondo and the criticism of many uh so what is he charlatan or a champion um I've got my own opinions uh I think you can tell by what I've said during this podcast what I think uh I could tell you more but uh I have to invoke my security oath I took from the government no that's not true it's just that I don't know. I think he's the real deal. He really is or was a counterintelligence officer. He really did serve in the Army for 20 years. He really did work for the Pentagon. He really did all that stuff. Now, if the Pentagon wanted to, just to discredit somebody, they would do exactly as Alizondo said they would do. That's their MO. So here's the thing. Are they really doing it? Or does Alizondo know that this is what they would do so he crawls behind that drape. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I will tell you this. I enjoyed listening to him. I think he's for real. If he wasn't for real, Tom DeLong would have never hired him. But then he left to the stars because he wants to do other stuff, stuff that's not so much on the entertainment side. But if you go to his website, (laughs) if you go to his website, it's, uh, I'm going to give it to you. It's Luis... Luis Alizondo dash official.com. If you go to his website, it's full of entertaining Hollywood stuff. Okay. He's got a YouTube channel. He put stuff. He's been on CNN. He's very much the entertainer. So if he left to the stars because he didn't want to be about entertainment, but now he's primarily doing entertainment stuff. Did he really just want to make more money? It's hard to tell. I will say this. I enjoy listening to him. I do not think Luis Elizondo is a charlatan. I think he may pontificate more than he should, but then that's part of the entertainment value. That's why people want to see him. If you're boring and mundane, no one's going to watch you. And if you truly want to get your voice out there, you'll be entertaining. And friends, Luis Elizondo is, if nothing else, certainly entertaining. Well, that's it. We're done. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. James Strong Show at Hotmail.com. That's my email address. If you want to get the podcast, the best, 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 best way to get the podcast, send me your email. I will send you a link upon publication. When the, when the podcast drops, you can download it and listen to it at your leisure. Oh, just listen to it wherever you pick up your podcasts. iTunes, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Facebook, Twitter, TuneIn, Radio Online, the podcast app, YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcast, and it goes on and on. Geo Savan, Spreaker.com, who is my host, of course. That's it. We're done. Until next time, this is James Strong saying adios. <laughs>